Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. Bringing to you some NBA 2K20. Don't trip. You know we're going to talk about NBA 2K21 and what we saw yesterday. But first off, Nodi Gang in the building. If you want to be a part of Nodi Gang, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload. Look, Slasher Gang is almost back, okay? I might bring Slasher Gang back. We'll start catching bodies again. But you know what time it is, man. You know I have to talk about NBA 2K21. Um, I was streaming yesterday and they said, D-Man, do not make a 10 minute video on a 30 second clip. I said, are you sure? They said, yeah, we're sure. I said, all right, man. So we'll just talk about what we saw. We didn't see a lot. I mean, it's a teaser. We can see what 2K21 is looking like on a PlayStation 5. I mean, real talk. Um, What I got from this is it's looking mad sweaty. And that's good because, you know, some of you are mad sweaty on NBA 2K, so it's actually perfect. But like I said before, it's just a teaser. Shout out to Zion, man. D-Man, Zion? You mean Zion? Look, his mom calls him Zion, so I'm gonna call him Zion. Man, shout out to him. If he's the cover athlete this young, yo, that would be crazy. But you know, I need that Kobe Legend Edition, the Mamba Edition. Either way, man, I'm looking forward to a lot of games on PlayStation 5, um, 2K21 being one of them. Because like I said, man, I grew up playing 2K. But in this video, let's talk about 2K21. D-Man, what do you want to see in 2K21? Now you all know, I don't give that much feedback anymore because like I said, my type of feedback isn't really getting changed. And even then when I post feedback videos, y'all would say something like, D-Man, don't tell us, tell the devs. So it's just like, okay, well, I won't post those videos anymore. But even then, I wanna talk about NBA 2K21 what I want to see. First off, I want NBA 2K21 next gen to be a brand new experience. Like I said, I'm gonna leave gameplay out of this. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just talk about the actual experience. If I load up and see a neighborhood, I don't know how I will feel about it personally. Now, I'm not saying I don't want a hub. A hub is cool. You know, we kind of had that in previous 2Ks. I'm just saying having different parts to play at, different affiliations, that was a little bit more live, man. For me in 2K, it's all about feeling fresh. You know, I was never a big events person, but I like treasure hunters because I like the look of it. I like the way basketball guys look. I love the way formula looks, but I'm just saying, I want that almost every day. So I think that was the biggest issue with NBA 2K20. It felt and looked just like NBA 2K19. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully we get a brand new experience, which is something I'm fully expecting when the PlayStation 5 comes out and NBA 2K21. All right, so let me move on because I low key got a tweet that kind of hurt me, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not not hurt, hurt, but you know, it, it kind of hurt me because it reminded me of the good old days. So it was this guy talking about how he wants to start YouTube, but he wants to have an audience that I used to have back when 2K16 and 2K17 was out, AKA a Pro-Am audience. Now I would still love to have a Pro-Am audience, but it's a few reasons why I stopped playing Pro-Am. The main reason being CKZ. Nah, I'm trolling bro, I'm trolling, kinda. Let me move on. The main reason being there's no like Pro-Am guy at 2K. So when I go to community day, right? I say, yo, who can I talk to about Pro-Am? I, I need to talk to somebody because Pro-Am has low key been the same since 2K17. In my opinion, I like 2K16's Pro-Am mode the best simply because we can pick arenas. The customization was crazy. Now, when Pro-Am comes around on NBA 2K15, bro, yo, the mode needs to be overhauled. I mean, we need incentives like crazy different arenas, indoor, outdoor. I'm talking about if I like the American Airlines Center, I should be able to pick that arena as a template and customize it. You feel me? We just need more in Pro-Am and I'm like sad at how I really don't play Pro-Am anymore. You know, I mainly play the park. I still like to play fobs, bro. I play the rec. I have 700 rec games because Pro-Am has skill-based matchmaking. And damn, that sounded like I was ducking. Look, let me explain it to you. A few people know, but obviously people don't because we still get messages when we play the wreck. When you play Pro-Am, right? You know, you're going through the motions, everything cool. 10 and 0, 20 and 0, 30 and 0. You get to the pro tier. 
Once you hit that pro tier, you can only find teams that are pro tier or higher. Now, what that means is if you're at pro tier, you're only finding teams that are pro tier or higher. And the skill based matchmaking is so strict that most of the time you're not finding a game. You might as well restart the court. And I know people are like, oh, there's workarounds. You got to jump up on one leg, do a 360 while licking your elbows. Or you can uh, just get into a lead. Bro, I'm not paying nobody any type of money to play pro am, bro. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Look, we need to adjust the skill based matchmaking in pro am and have more incentives to play. Like when that PS5 comes out, Prime needs to go crazy, man. The part, whatever they do, it needs to go crazy. And we're working, bro. We're trying to make sure that it happens. I know a lot of people think commentators, we go out to community day, right? And it's like, y'all think we go there and not say anything? Y'all know how crazy that sounds? Like, just say that out loud. That doesn't sound silly to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we we want to play 2K2. We want to enjoy 2K2. So, of course, we're going to say something. Annoying. He's gonna say something. Shakedown, myself, stats, juice, who's ever there. They're saying something. You know, we all cover 2K in a different way. You know what I mean? So, hey man, I'm looking forward to 2K21. I'm always looking forward to 2K. Like I said, I grew up playing 2K. I need them servers to be next gen too. We'll see about that. But look, man, in the comments below, let me know what are you looking forward to in NBA 2K21 next gen. When it comes to current gen, I I don't know. I don't think we're going to get anything crazy, but that's just speculation. I'm not confirming or denying anything. It's just that I know they've been focusing on the PS5 for a minute now, but it's still June. You know what I mean? That's what you have to understand about the trailer. They can't show too much because it's still June. Nothing is really going down in June, but I will tell you what's going up in June, LTC. <laughs> Shout out flight, man. But look, it was cool to get a look at NBA 2K21 on PS5. You know, it's always that question of how 2K will look on next gen. And so I'm always looking forward to that in a way. But at the same time, I'm a gameplay guy. I wanna, I wanna see gameplay. <laughs> you know, that's the old head in me, I guess. But I am hoping for the best with 2K21. Like I said, in the comments below, let me know what you're looking forward to. Like I said, man, PS5 will be a new experience. We know that. I need 2K21 to be a new experience. I need 2K21 to be the 2K where it's just like, okay, yeah, y'all boys leveled up. You know, it was the same when 2K14 came out. And now we're making arguments that 2K14 is one of the best 2Ks on this current gen, which sounds crazy because it was the first 2K on this gen. Hey, 2K, I need y'all boys to level up, man. Real talk. We're almost there, but we need to take it to the next level. So you all be easy, man. Thank you for watching. Classic D-Man rant. You know how it goes. Peace.